this time we are going to take you on a tour of the Christiansborg Palace, the seat of the Danish Parliament, the Prime Minister's Office, and the Supreme Court. With more than 800 years of Danish history there is a lot to see. Christiansborg Palace, situated on the tiny island of Slotsholmen in the heart of Copenhagen, Denmark, has played a central role in the country's political and cultural history. One of the palace's most notable features is the tower, This palace is not only a stunning example of neo-baroque architecture. It is the third palace built on this site, after the previous two were destroyed by fire in 1794 and 1884. The palace also contains the royal reception rooms, the palace chapel, and the royal stables, which are used by the Danish monarch on special occasions. The present-day Christiansborg Palace stands as the third incarnation of structures on the same site, each representing different epochs in Danish history. The first iteration was a medieval castle, followed by a grand renaissance palace. The palace was designed by the renowned architect Thorvald Jorgensen, who combined neoclassical and rationalist styles to create a majestic and functional building. The palace is not only a masterpiece of design, but also a symbol of Denmark's democratic values. The Folketing, or Danish Parliament, meets in the palace, where the elected representatives debate and decide on the laws and policies that affect the country. The royal stables have been home to the royal family's horses since 1740, and they are the only surviving part of Christian VI's magnificent Baroque palace. You can admire the elegant white horses that pull the Queen's carriage on special occasions, such as New Year levies and banquets. You can also see the splendid gala harnesses and the impressive carriages that are displayed in the Harness Museum. The most exquisite carriage is the Golden State Coach, which is coated with 24 karat gold leaf and dates from 1840. The oldest carriage is Queen Dowager Julianne Marie's State Coach, which was built in 1778. You can also find traces of other queens in the museum, such as Caroline Mathilde's Daring Man Saddle from the 1700s. If you are a foodie and a history lover, the Royal Kitchen boasts one of Europe's largest collections of copperware and is equipped and furnished as it was in the 1930s. You can see how the royal chefs prepared lavish banquets for hundreds of guests, such as the gala dinner for King Christian X's Silver Jubilee in 1937. More about the history of Christiansborg Palace This magnificent building has been through three different incarnations, each one reflecting the changes and challenges of the Danish nation. The first castle was erected in the 12th century by Bishop Absalon, the founder of Copenhagen. It was a formidable fortress that protected the city from invaders, but it also suffered from several devastating fires that eventually led to its demolition in the 18th century. King Frederick IV then commissioned a new palace, inspired by the French Rococo style, that showcased his wealth and power. It was a splendid sight, with lavish rooms and gardens, but it too fell victim to a fire in 1794 that left only the ruins behind. The third and current palace was built on the same site, incorporating some of the original features, such as the chapel and the royal stables. It was completed in 1828, and since then it has been the home of the Danish Parliament, the Supreme Court, and the Prime Minister's Office. It is also used for royal ceremonies and receptions, as well as hosting a museum and a library. Christiansborg Palace is a fascinating place to visit, as it reveals the rich and turbulent history of Denmark through its stunning architecture.
Visitors to Christiansborg Palace are welcomed into a space that seamlessly intertwines history, politics, and culture. You can explore the palace's many rooms and halls, where you can witness the Prime Minister, the Supreme Court, and the Parliament in action. You can also admire the stunning architecture and art that reflect the rich heritage and values of the Danish people. The Parliament Chamber, in particular, is a sight to behold, with its elaborate woodwork and impressive collection of relics. It is here that the representatives of the nation debate and decide on the most important issues facing their country. The palace also houses the Prime Minister's office, where the country's leader conducts official business and addresses matters of national importance. The palace is a stunning example of how the past and the present can coexist harmoniously, as the modern design of the Prime Minister's office contrasts with the ancient architecture of the palace. The office is equipped with state-of-the-art technology and comfortable furniture, while still preserving the elegance and dignity of the palace. The Prime Minister's office is a symbol of the country's progress and innovation. Additionally, the Supreme Court Chamber within Christiansborg Palace, where it deliberates on the most important legal cases in the country. The courtroom is a splendid example of classical architecture, with its high ceiling, marble columns and wooden furniture. The courtroom exudes a sense of dignity and respect, as well as a passion for justice and fairness. The judges and lawyers who work in this room are inspired by its history and tradition, as well as by its elegant and refined design. Beyond its governmental functions, Christiansborg Palace serves as a venue for cultural events and exhibitions. The elegant halls and corridors often host art installations, historical displays, and other cultural activities that further enrich the visitor experience. This multifaceted approach ensures that the palace remains a dynamic and living institution, engaging with both the past and the present. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos from Copenhagen. We can't wait to show you more of this wonderful place.